What's going on? It's Friday, May 6th, and that is more like it. We are moving past the beginning ruckus part of round one of the NHL playoffs, that weird time where every team thinks they can win the cup. They can't. And we're starting to see some of these series play out the way we, or by we, I mean me, had imagined. You saw Florida come out, throw a beating to the Washington Capitals, won five to one. The guys you wanted to see on the stat sheet and I had hoped had a better performance. The Barkovs, the Huberdos all got on the score sheet. It was a great performance by them. They limited Washington to 26 shots, which is good because their defense was atrocious game one. So they tightened up. It was just an all around great game for Florida. The 60 minute line cashed quite nicely. Then over there in the Big Apple, the Rangers, a 5-2 win against Pittsburgh and their third string goalie. I thought Panarin was, was going to have a strong influence on this game. He did. Goal, assist, multi-points. And that game kind of played out the way that I thought that it would. Two teams, home favorites with their backs against the wall, came through with wins. And so did Devon Taves with that point in overtime. So we got paid back from Tuesday and it feels good. And before we go on to Friday, tonight's games, just want to let you know that we got an NHL promo for you through BetMGM. You bet $10 and you win $200 if either team scores a goal. Not sure if BetMGM's aware of this, but in the playoffs, there are no 0 0 ties, aka you're getting $200. So just click the link down below in the description or go to BetMGM and use the promo code. OSNHL to snatch your free $200 for some of these games tonight. And we're going to start with the Tampa Bay Lightning. I'm sorry. It's just this disrespect of them is really, it's just starting to bother me. Who do they think we're dealing with here? Some bums? The Tampa Bay Lightning are minus, I believe, 115. Who do you think you're dealing with here? Some some random bums? These are the back-to-back -back Stanley Cup champs. They just went up 5-1 in Toronto in their building. And what, now we're just hardly... Who do they think the Lightning are? I mean, the Leafs are as well. I just, I can't... Are all the books just closet Leaf fans or something? What is going on? Why is this so close to even? This should be minus 150 lightning. These Stanley Cup champs are going home and they're playing the Maple Leafs. So if I'm putting them at minus 150 and the lines in the books have them at minus 115, give me Tampa Bay minus 115. Thank you very much. That was a, how was that for a nice quick assessment? I mean, I'm not, but really if you, in that game, I would actually go under. It's probably going to be at six and a half. I would go under again. And I know last the last couple of years, oh, they both went over. Trust me, Tampa plays these games in the playoffs where they go, no, no, we're not doing this run gun anymore. We're It's going to be two to one. Tampa has about two two to one games in every series. And that's not like one of my official picks, but I'm just saying if you want to combine Tampa with another part of that game, I'd feel more comfortable with the under. And then any of those players you saw, I mean, Hedman, Stamp, when, they, when, they're, when they're producing, like that power play that somehow... Couldn't get a goal on a five-minute major game one. Yeah, that's right. Popped in three last game. So you could always take them, any of those stars that they got there, those big five for a power play point, assist, goal. You, you can take your pick. But I'm going Lightning, minus 115 against the Toronto Maple Leafs at home. Then let's take things to Beantown. I'm going to use the same premise that I applied last night. You essentially have the Bruins, who are a good team. They're a good team, and their series is on the line here. They're going home for game three. They're down 0-2. Two games that they mostly want to forget, and they need to win this game on their home ice, which I think they should be able to do. If they're going to lose one of these two at home, I would project it being game four, but you're going to see their best 60 minutes tonight. So give me the Bruins at minus 120 against Carolina. And the fact that they are minus 120 after having two pretty – poor games where they went down big in both of them shows you that even the odds makers know they, they might not know what they're talking about in the Tampa Bay series but I think they know what they're talking about in this series I bet you a lot of people are taking Carolina tonight because you know just that simplistic mindset of oh, they destroyed them games one and two you're gonna give me Carolina plus money give me Carolina now I'm gonna take the Bruins they, they play well in that building up there Pasternak 
I'm pretty sure he's not hasn't even been on the score sheet yet, or maybe maybe he has an assist. But where are those where are those one timers from the top of the circle that he usually blasts in? He'll probably put in a goal tonight. So if you need to add something with the Bruins, you can put a poster knock goal in there. But I'm taking the Bruins minus 120 versus the Canes, and just like last night, where I gave you two picks and a prop, two smokes and a pond cake, as they say in Austin Powers. Uh, this one, we're going to give you a Ryan O'Reilly goal, and this is courtesy of the the uh, <laughs> bunker statisticians over at Odd Shopper. They are calculating a six percent return on investment here for Ryan O'Reilly. I tend to agree that he's a good option to score a goal tonight in the St. Louis, Minnesota game. St. Louis is at home. They calculate that you have a 28% chance of hitting th that bet, that Ryan O'Reilly's gonna score a goal tonight. I was kind of feeling more 29%, but they got it at 28%. But you know, tomato, tomato, we'll put it at 28.5% for Ryan O'Reilly to score a goal for the St. Louis Blues at plus 280. And that's what I got for you tonight. That that Edmonton Kings game, I'm not so sure. Game four, I, I'm going to be liking Edmonton more. But, you know, that first game at home, it's essentially the home crowd's version of game one where they get to release all their frustrations. The same way today I got to release all my frustrations of earlier in the week from what happened ultimately to last night. But hopefully we can keep this going. We can, uh, went three for three last night. Let's let's try to hit a couple of these tonight and get some solid momentum built up going into the weekend. Good luck to all of you. I'll be back with you tomorrow. I'll see you then. Take it easy. Have a good one.